Hello Autodesk people and welcome to another tips and tricks session by Jay. So today we've got um, a pretty interesting question that came up from uh, one of our users and the question is in regards to how do I go about having a, a fabrication file, right? So what we're looking at is Fabrication CAD MEP 2014. We're looking at the use of design line. So the, the scenario here is we've got this design line of piping that uh, what we want to do here is we want to very quickly go through and change, for instance, the pipe size of all of this. And if I take a quick look at this, all of this is, in fact, let's take a look. It looks like it's size 8, right? So we want to make a change to this and make it a different size. But I want to do it in a way, right, that uh, I don't have to do piece by piece. So one option here is converting everything to a design line. Um, and then changing it at the design line level. In order for us to do that, we need to use a specific command. I'm going to show you the command in just a minute, but uh, but let's let's go through this process. Uh, what we want to do is we want to use the rev design command. And in Auto in Fabrication Academy P, you just type that into the command prompt and then select um, do a window selection of your piping that you want to change. And what that does is it adds a, a design line based on the connectivity of these objects. So at this point, what I would want to do is I would want to go through my design line options here and probably go through and edit my, my, my objects. And I would want to select the line that I'm dealing with. And let's see if I can get that. Oh, I guess I didn't get it. So let's go, let's double click on this design line to activate it. There we go, now it's green. And let's go edit this design line. So at this point, I can go through and change pretty much any of these values that I need to uh, if I wanted to. Let's just change all of these to, let's see if I can do a mass selection here. Let's change these constraints to, let's just make everything four inches. And what I would want to do is I would want to erase the 3D elements and then reapply them. And now we've got 4-inch piping all the way throughout. And at this point, if I wanted to remove the design line, I could just select the design line and delete it. And now we're back to our, uh, our standard method here. So that's one very quick way that we can leverage design lines. And the name of the command again is, let me type that in, rev design. Rev design allows us to take um, existing piping that's already connected with the attacher method and create a design line out of that. And if we want to remove the design line, simply delete it and it, uh, it, no, it just goes back to the attacher method. So that's a, that's a very quick video on Fabrication CAD MEP and the tip and trick I'm trying to teach here is how to go back and forth between attacher method of laying out individual pieces of pipe and fittings, how we can convert that to design line and leverage the design line to very quickly drop the, the size of your piping, uh, for instance, from 8 inch or 6 inch down to 4 inch. All right, so join me for the next tips and tricks, and we'll see you again soon.